Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. Today I want to talk about how to extract just the date from a date time cell in Excel. And you might say, well, that's easy. I just highlight the cells and I just change it to display the date. Okay, the time information is now gone. Okay, but the problem with that is if you click on each cell, you can see that it still contains the time. You're just not showing it. But what I want is to, I want to actually get rid of the time. I want it to just have the day. Okay, and there might be uh, some sort of reason for that. And for me, the reason is I need to, I can now use this cell uh, as a VLOOKUP value to look up uh, the date in another table. So if you want to do any sort of processing with just the date and not the time, you can't do it this way. So what is the way to do it? Okay, so what you need to understand is a date time value is actually just a number in Excel. And to reveal that number, you can just select a cell and choose to display it as number. And that is the number in the background. That is the actual value. Okay, Excel is displaying it as date time, but that's the actual value in the background. So what does this number mean? Now, 42,576, that means how many days it's been since the 1st of January, 1900. Okay, so if you don't believe me, just type in some sort of date here. Okay, let's say 1st of January, 2000. If you display that as a number, it's got 36,526. Okay, but if you change it back to date again, and instead of 2000, I'm changing it to 1900. Okay, and if you display that as a number, it'll say one, okay, the first day. So it's basically what day is it since the 1st of January, 1900. In 2016, how many days has it been? It's been 42,000 days since 1900, okay? Now, dot four nine, that is just the time. Okay, so for example, if I put in here, um, if I put in here, instead of dot four eight eight eight, whatever, if I put in here dot zero zero, okay, and I change it to um, date time. Oops, how did how did I change it to date time? No, it won't. It won't go to date time. So um, if I, I'll show it to you another way. If I make it zero 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 zero, and get rid of that, okay, and I change it to a number, you can see it's zero zero. Okay, so the time has been converted into uh, decimal numbers. Okay, so for example, if it's halfway through. So let's change it to um, 12 p.m. It'll be exactly 0.5, all right? If you have a look at the number, 0.5. Because 12 p.m. is halfway through the day. So what fraction is the time throughout the day? Is it a quarter of the way through? That would be um, 6 a.m., 12 p.m., 6 p.m., so for example, if it's 6 p.m., it'll be 0.75 and so on. So that's what the decimal means. Which is why if I want to just display the date, I can simply put in equals int integer. Integer means to round any single number down to get rid of the decimal numbers. So if I go integer bracket this cell, finish the bracket, press enter, okay, and I display it as a number, you can see that it's 0, 0.00. So it's got rid of the time information, okay, and then I can simply um, 
display it as a date and I can simply scroll this down and every single cell now just has the date it does not have the information on the hour or the time okay thanks for watching guys see you next time